where we were, but Nick has found a grate. What needs a torch, Owen? No. Nothing? Nah, it's just nothing. This might have been the sewage farm. Who knows? When I go and look at all the pictures of this in its heyday, see what I can find. Right, we've got another building just here. Is that the mine you reckon, Nick? There. Yeah. We're not talking about it. This is building 199. What oh, that is for? See the bolts through the wall? Yeah. Might have been a workshop. A shelving. Is it? Oh yeah, it would have sorted spare timber and metal, more pipes. See the other one, side of that building. No idea. That's a door. It comes around here. Maybe it's a pay office. Walk in, get pay, walk out. <laughs> now you check your pay. It's accurate. If it's not accurate, you miscounted. If you counted it again, it's still wrong. You miscounted twice. Carry on. Okay. Sure what that is. Wall they've stabilized. Standing on an ant's nest. Let me go up top and have a look at this cave in. Almost down. <laughs> no idea what that was. I wonder if they had like coking ovens here. They'd have to burn it or process it here. Could have went in, be in an oven or something. I know they did that with gold, but I don't know what they did with shale. Anyway, get here this next set of buildings. See what we can find. I'll switch off until I'm down because I don't want to film myself falling. Here's another good view. Over there in the distance is the muller keep. That's a massive, massive muller keep. So I'm not sure if they mine there as well, but there's no muller here, is there? So I reckon they processed it here or process it down there at the refinery, then just dumped it. As I said, we will look up the history of this and I'll put in little uh, narrative scripts. Well, that's where we just were, and we're looking at this, and I was crapping on about possibly an oven or something. I reckon that's the adit out. It's where they brought the ore out. Because over there where that mine is, there's no way they would have been able to bring a significant amount of shale out of there. And there's also another one over there which we'll look at. But I reckon that would have been where the ore was brought out. So we'll go look at the other one, and then when I uh, get back home, I will look up information on it and for photos yeah definitely so it would have come out of these two tunnels and then they went down there if we go down there later we might see a track or a tramway or what's left of a tramway or something all right very good, mystery solved. Well done, Nick. <laughs> Nick was right. And they're definitely good, strong timbers. Jeez. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Anyway, all right. We'll never know. So that's where I just was. And this is above it, as you can see. 
significant tunnel leads in out of the collapse we people have gone down there and i think about it i got some equipment in the car that i'm a bit too dangerous the boys are up there looking at other distinct collapses in the soil and we'll have a look at this building here all right now we're just up here here there have a look through here Gonna be a generator room or something boiler room generators it was 1938 when it first opened apparently so i'm assuming they would have been using diesels motor pool maybe fix the any of the equipment Where this goes, a bit of a nice wall work, but it's starting to collapse. Heavy duty metal. Maybe this is where the ore came down. There's a track here. Oh yes, I reckon this is it. I reckon that was a all bin just through here. I'll have to have a look. This is the view, the other end. Alright, I grab the boys. So Definitely reckon, there it is, all bin, just here. So, there's your tracks, we are dumped into here, massive all bin. All right, amazing. Oh, look at this wall here, Owen. There we have it. That is an all bin. Very excited by the whole thing. Massive. Yeah. All right, we'll get some photos and uh, we'll head back to the car. All right, we're in the car. We were looking at was uh, what we believe the residential area where we were. If you look up there. Is there? And we're heading back to our campsite for a quick drive. And what we're looking at here, and we'll do it through the front screen the car we'll notice a lot of um, concrete structures so I'm not sure what that concrete structure was probably a tank of some description but as we go along as you can see a chimney there's quite a few non-native trees in there that have passed away showing there's a sure sign that this was a uh, residential area another chimney a lot of relics there another chimney there this more off the back there again I'm going to do a bit of research and get some pictures of this because I do know they exist and one more chimney just around the corner that we saw earlier That's over there, the refinery, that's pointing, and we're just heading back to the campsite there. Alright, I reckon that's about it for this one. Say goodbye. See ya. See you. This is Owen. Owen's come down from Cairns, and it was like zero degrees here last night, and he's only been here a day, so he's a little bit cold. Just a bit. So, all spare a thought for Owen. <laughs> Alright.
catches.